and what is going on guys my name is Vecman and we are back with a brand new reaction today we're checking out I didn't think this was actually coming out tonight I thought when he tweeted this he meant tomorrow night as in like August 2nd but apparently not apparently he meant tonight new JPEG Mafia album I lay down my life for you now for those who don't know or for those who are new to the channel and are here because of this new album release I have been basically on this channel kind of growing my uh, my experience with JPEG Mafia. Um, I hadn't really heard much of him. I've heard like a couple of singles prior to like doing videos on his albums and shit, uh, but I hadn't really heard much from him prior to this. And this is the first real time that I have been here for an album release other than like scaring the hose or something along those lines. Um, so this is a first for me. I'm super duper excited. I haven't uploaded uh, reactions to the singles that came out for this album. Uh, those being uh, Sin Miedo and uh, I believe uh, yeah yeah Sin Miedo and uh, Don't Rely on Other Men. Um, I hadn't uploaded reactions to those other songs only because honestly I had just listened to them in my free time and I fucking loved both of them. They are amazing fucking singles and I was super duper excited going into this album and uh yeah i mean here we are right now i'm i'm pumped i'm absolutely pumped um i i can't wait to get into this as far as the feature list goes you got vince staples who had one of my favorite first listens of this entire year denzel curry who just put out kings of the mischievous south which i still have yet to check out and i need to jesus christ i'm, I'm so behind on that and buzzy lee which i don't believe i actually know but either way we're gonna jump into it no time wasted i'm super duper excited let's go New JPEG Mafia album, I Lay Down My Life For You, track one, I scream this in the mirror before I interact with anyone. Let's go. If I was an NBA player, I'd be Dylan Brooks, but worse. <laughs> I'm Debo, we are not equal. They all miss like the shack at the free throw. Script my plate, never shat whack. Go to the God, then I never slay to the end. Go to the Dos Mio, sip a more deal. Stick like I'm starving, I'm finna let my rib show. You win loss, look at Jake Paul. We face off, we make you face God. Who that brother they trap? Why you ain't good like that? Yeah, man, drop a whack. I ain't look good like that. Put me in a Guinness. Oh my God. You get hit with a face palm. Face palm. Listen, yeah, but I'm still fake calm. Four five always did like state farm. <laughs> when they can't read you mm. like a book, uh -uh. they gon' try to attack what you stand on. I can get my hands on. Put it up. Who that put an eight jet? Why you ain't like that? Bro, hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking phone. See, I'm not like, like, okay. Listen, I love rock. I or, okay, love's a strong term. I like rock. And there's only certain elements of rock that I would pick out that I'm like, I really, really love this. And both singles, Don't Rely on Other Men and Sin Miedo, or however you pronounce it, I'm sorry if I'm fucking it up, but both singles had the elements that I love. That guitar, the hard-ass drums, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. If we're in for a whole album, I know he had tweeted something about um, uh, like like meeting Kanye West, like really like inspired something like, or like kind of like inspired and like set the tone for him making this album. If the whole album has this level to it, I already got my tickets for his tour down in Columbus, Ohio. I am fucking pumped. I'm pumped. This is a hype ass fucking record. As far as just writing, we're only 50 seconds in. I'm gonna let it keep going, but goddamn. Oh my god. I love it. I hate when niggas be stressed about what you be doing more than they were about their own shit. I hate when these bitches be begging your boy with some cash and then turn around and say, eat the rich. They get mad when they Oh, niggas... wait, wait, wait. What did he just say? That was a bar. Hold the fuck. Just be begging your boy with some cash and then turn around and say, eat the rich. Did she say, I hate when these bitches be begging your boy for some cash and turn around and say, eat the rich? That's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insane bar. Holy shit. Mad when niggas do it for themselves because the parents is still chipping in. Oh, you mad? Your bitch play follow the leader after you unfollowed your bitch. Dude, it's like. It's like metal with rap. All right. Track number one. I scream this in the mirror before I interact with anyone. Fucking insane. Super duper in your face. Sets the tone. I'm assuming sets the tone for the record. Perfectly. Like, just from every other, from the other two singles that I've heard, and then that, I'm assuming that this is going to set the tone for the album. Perfectly. Holy shit, dude. Listen, as a white Peggy fan, 
I'm here for this. <laughs> this shit is banging. Acts. Oh my god. All right, and we're we're gonna listen to the singles as well, cause obviously no no fucking stupid. It'd be stupid as shit to just skip them. But yeah, let's let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Track number two, Sin Miedo. I'm sorry if I'm fucking it up, but let's run it. Banger. You niggas is bitches. I don't wanna kick kick it. Peggy, I ain't for the fences. You niggas don't swing. You stacking up misses. You treating your business, we catching no business. This riding is expensive. If you need an image, then baby don't listen. Keep bumping. Who the fuck is that? An IP and card. Oh my god. The production is fucking insane. Dude, like those, like just little jabs are perfect. Oh, but then here it comes. I do it, I do it, a vengeance. Picks the spin heads out, shot with class, give me the tension. I do a lot for the mention. Oh my god. I'm to another level, my attraction came with a pension. Now some niggas got a risk. One of the best producers out. I issues with a father. I issues with my barber. She off all of these tries. Come from your bottom, I Pierre Carter. <laughs> the guitar in the background too. You got the swag of a nigga from Chatterbait. You wanna <laughs> aggravate? Stick talk like a chopper elaborate. Oh my god! Such a just fun song, man. God fucking damn. Track two, Sin Miedo. I swear to God, I've said it like five different times. <laughs> I apologize, but man, fucking insane song, dude. That song has like five genres in one. It's crazy, actually. Like the, the, the contrast and variety from that track is fucking insane. It's awesome. I love the fucking sound of it. Again, that when it kind of starts off and it just has those quick though, like dun 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 dun, but just jabbing in, it sounds perfect. It sounds kicky. It has punch to it, and then he brings in the guitar and the drums, insane. And then it just keeps evolving and evolving throughout the whole song. And it's only a three minute long song, but that beat feels like it goes through so many stages. That's fucking phenomenal. Almost nobody else can do that. Insane. Fucking awesome. Going into track number three, we have I'll be right there. Let's go. Mm. He like he likes switching shit up. I'm waiting. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm cool with this. I like it. Show would you never did shit to me If you show for that face to face Wouldn't be shit with some shots It's the same or lower tier He gets text other men Then it picks to me He talks shit with his friend And it's to me That bitch only on my She ain't real to me They is what niggas think I'm supposed to be It's so funny The drum sound Tuck what you came back It'll put you back at it Post it to me I'd have had the boy face down Ass up Like your baby mama be Uh Oh I'd have I'd have had that boy face down Ass up like your baby mama be Man God damn dude Peggy He has fun lines I love it He has He has bars and he has fun bars, and I appreciate that. Not super over the top serious shit, just fun bullshit. Definitely comes with some like super like hostile energy at points, which sounds awesome whenever he brings it with that right energy. But man, just, other than that, just shit, it's fun shit, and I love it. Put you back in it, post it to me. I'd have had that boy face down, ass up, like your baby mama be. Uh. Fuck these niggas, I'm spazzing, hitting that hotel, I give her a heart attack. I just told her to shoot you, then Cardi back. I put creativity back on the map. I be spitting mm. that dope like it's 80s crack. Fuck if you ain't getting no cash back. You see daddy, they can't hear your flashback. You be yapping, I open my cash app. All head in a sack. Bitch, I go Amber Rose with these mega raps. Yeah, I stand on that shit, ain't no back and back. I don't care what you feel, I ain't back to that, and that's real. Bitch, go to the rocker with me, she catching the tip like a scrapper. I had issues with my barber. You got issues with the Clippers. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I think 
the beat is fucking breathing, bro. Get some record crackle, okay. Man, I like the sound of that one. Brought it back a lot, which I, again, I, I I will expect a couple of the songs on this album, and I'm here for it, especially. If he's going to have energy, super high energetic tracks with a lot of just, you know, in your face, a loud fucking sound, like track one and two. I like that. Also kind of having that slow down, and he was just rapping on there. Like I said, his shit's fun, and when it's not super duper serious, or when he's not trying to take it super duper serious, which I don't think he ever really does, like for the majority of the time, like it's just fun shit. He has bars, and he can flow effortlessly. He sounds great over the beats that he creates himself, and I mean, he kind of has almost the same thing that like Kanye um did back when he was coming up, and before anybody's like, oh, he's comparing JPEG Mafia to Kanye. Shut the fuck up, dude. Holy shit. Um, but like, just. He has the same kind of, I guess, luck almost, where he's such a talented and well-crafted producer that in the ability to be able to make his own beats, he can perfectly match the beats that he's making with raps that he's probably already got building up over in his head as he's making the beat. So, like, it's fucking fantastic. I love the sound of that, and it was perfect. Perfect from top to bottom. I appreciate it so fucking much, man. I'm, I'm just so happy still that we got a Peggy album on a fucking a Wednesday going into a Thursday, like... Man, I'll take it. Great middle of the week little little bump up, man. I love it. Going into track number four, we have It's Dark and Hell is Hot. Let's run it. I'm loving this flow on this one. Mm. I like the echoes in the lift there. It sounds awesome in the air. Oh what? <laughs> what do you say? Way by don't this day. I got all of my industry friends on my hands and my niggas they be in the bag. I'm rap on what it is if I show you a drink I ain't playing with kids. I tell you right. I tell rappers I know what it is when I show you a drink I ain't playing with kids. Oh, <laughs> we're back with it, boys. <laughs> The beats are bipolar. Okay. I see the vision. Man, I'm telling you, in the way that, like, um, I think think a lot of people modern day would point to, like, uh, like Juice World, and the way that, like, Juice World has, like, that, like, like, 50 minute long freestyle on, like, Eminem beats. Like, where he can just keep switching up the flow, keep throwing in new rhymes and shit. Like, and he's he keeps the creativity up throughout the whole thing. I think JPEG Mafia is, like, the producer equivalent to that. Like, this dude can beat freestyle for, like, hours. Like, you can just give him a simple drum loop, and he's just going to tweak it and add new shit to it. Add new samples, add new instruments to it to make it sound like some crazy shit that it should not sound like, but it does. Seriously, I think I said it before. I'm sure I said it before, actually, in my LP or my, uh, or my All My Heroes Are Cornballs reaction. But, like... Dude literally is one of the most talented fucking producers of the modern day. It's crazy, bro. Actually fucking crazy. Rolling into track number five. I'm very excited for this. New Black History featuring Vince. Motherfucking Staples. If you guys didn't see it, I did react to Vince Staples' album, Dark Times. Um, so if you do want to go check that out, it is up on my channel. Uh, but I mean, yeah, beautiful, beautiful album. One of my favorite first listens of the whole year. I honestly wasn't even like, it wasn't on my radar until I just decided to check it out and listen to it. And amazing fucking album. But yeah, let's, let's jump right into it. Track number five, New Black History featuring Vince Staples. <laughs> I hit the lottery. I hit the 
chest was on one oh like when God. I fit in the room Plus trying to whatever niggas need to boom by Yeah, but it's probably to be over soon I say what I do and I mean what I want to uh -huh. do These are my gangster chronicles I'm the god MC, I'm the shot and true We gotta, we gotta talk about how he just, he slid on on that He, he, like I was not expecting Vince Staples of all fucking people to just glide onto a JPEG Mafia beat like that. Run that back. Run that back. I hit the lottery. I hit the lottery. I hit the lottery. I hit the lottery. That's what's on walk like when the elephant in the room. Plus, try to whatever niggas need to boom. by yeah, but it's probably be over soon. I say what I do and I mean what I wanna do. These are my gangster chronicles. I'm the god MC. I'm the shot and true. I love the description on the vocal, man. And on the drums, the whole beat. When I come around, better stare at the floor. Cause I'm in that mode. On my own, I got that flavor. Jonathan Major paper. Especially when y'all catching up with PDFs and rim, there's no drizzle. I hope y'all paying attention. No what? What? <laughs> what did he say? On my own, I got that flavor. Jonathan Major paper. Especially when y'all catching up with PDFs and rim, there's no drizzle. I <laughs> what the fuck? What is it with Drake catching the strays on this album, man? <laughs> Y'all paying attention, no really, I die and I kill myself, tell him to kill me. Ooh. I'm in the rest of fuck up. Y'all wish I used my background as a... Y'all wish I kept on eating prison lunch, cause I'm tweeting too much, keeping it tea is a must. These rappers fell off, they ain't stay this face, they missed this state, this is pee in cups. Ain't nobody freeing in us. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Hold on, he could have he could have did some work on that fucking beat. I'm telling you what, <laughs> that shit, <laughs> it was such a fucking wild combination of sounds. But Jesus Christ, he could he could have did something there. That would have been wild, but amazing. I wish that song was longer, dude. I wish that Vince Staples and JPEG Mafia had more on that song. Honestly, felt really sure. Yeah, just over two minutes. I would have loved to hear more on that track. Would have loved it. Vince Staples again. He did perfect. I did not expect them to just hop on and just cruise with no fucking issue at all on a JPEG Mafia album, let alone a JPEG Mafia song where he's like the main producer of it, obviously. Fucking crazy. Fucking insane. Vince Staples did great. He had an amazing verse. JPEG Mafia, again, beautiful production on that song too. Beautiful might not be the strong term for it, but insane, wild, uh, shocking. <laughs> it, it just, it, it, I love it. He experiments with shit that nobody else is gonna try. Like, only, like, a couple, like, like a small group of hip-hop will try this shit. And I know he's not the only person doing it, but, like, fuck, man. I, like, I just appreciate the way that he does it. It sounds great. And, again, both of them did amazing on that track. I'm gonna let it run into track number six, the first single for the album. Again, I'm gonna let it play through. We got Don't Rely on Other Men. Let's go. I hear you went down, 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 down. I hear you went down. Hold up. This mix is different. The whole mix is different of the song. Okay. Okay. So it's like I got a new song. It's like it's like I'm gonna get a new song. Okay. The mix is the mix is completely different from the single version. Alright, let, 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 let let's run. I had to get on my pop shit. I don't wanna start shit. These rappers is regular food. Hey, but my bitch up compartment, she thinking in comments, she hey, ain't fucking regular too. Hey. All right, fuck this shit. This is not the single no more. This is a whole new song. He's got different verses and shit. Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. There's another version of the song. It sounds it sounds like a demo cut of the song. That's what it really sounds like. Oh my god, pull it back. Uh, 
can take the shit the veteran way. The Kimber, the Glock, the Mini, the Trey. I ain't going nowhere. I'm right in your face. Make a shorty with me. Till I'm making a break. Made the guitar stand out clear. He made the guitar stand out clear. Holy shit. Oh my god. He can't be doing this, bro. He can't be doing this. Oh my god. Yes. I'm so fucking happy there's a different mix of that song on here. I love that song so fucking much. I love both the singles, but when I first heard Don't Rely on Other Men, I was ready for this fucking album. Immediately. Immediately I was ready for this album. And I'm so fucking glad to hear that there's another cut of it. God, yes. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so happy that that's on here. So fucking happy. Gonna let it roll into Vulgar Display of Power. Track number seven. Let's go. Mm. Hey, okay. Shorty fucking rabbit style. Says she need a low dose. I'ma take Kalana to the mix it with the no dose. You don't feel any. Got it tatted on my torso. He's getting for free and talking about it like they forced yo. Fuck about my DMs, nigga. Mm. Can I endorse yo? The only time I fuck with amateurs is if it's porno. Oh. <laughs> It's like, it's just, it's like metal. I bring the pain, I bring the pain. I'm at your neck, don't speak my name. I want respect, I'll keep the chain. Oh, I like the, the scratches on it. One, two. Uh. Shorty wanna kick it with a mask. Show her who I am and I should kick it with an activist. Inside, knock him with the soul of a ratchet. Oh Saturate my god. Move, you can rest up on my mandarin. You're a last fan, and I hope you never stand again, cause all my enemies are jumping. You better fall a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 The guitar, bro. Down. Insane, dude. I can't wait for the live performance. I hope to. I know for like the past like years now, he's just kind of been his own DJ at his shows, right? He just kind of pulls up Serato, plays a track, raps over it, whatever. I hope to God there's a live band for this tour, man. I really hope to God there's a live band for this tour. These songs would go so fucking crazy with live drums, live guitars, live bass. Like, everything would be insane, bro. It'd be fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Going into track number eight, which I'm interested in, ex-military. Now, I have not listened to... Death Grips. I know you can fucking kill me for that. And I know I, I asked earlier, I was like, who else you know is making this kind of shit? I know I've been told to listen to Death Grips before, and I do plan on eventually listening to The Money Store and X Military. I actually have X Military downloaded on my computer, just waiting for me to do the video for it. Um, but um, X Military, uh, I it's the longest track on the album. I wouldn't be shocked with how often I think people have either compared him to Death Grips or have said that he should. A collaboration with Death Grips if Death Grips is on this. 
and I'm only putting it out there now because in the event that they are on this and I don't know who they are, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, that that's that's just me, all right? That's just me, okay? We're going into it. Track number eight, X Military. <laughs> You got dirt on me. My country encouraged me. I just bought a dirty beast. I just bought a dirty beast. My famo discouraged me. My exes threw dirt on me. I might scratch some numbers off, but I don't play no lottery. I might have broke your homegirl off, but you ain't got to own. Great. I just want to throw this in there. This could also just be a board play on the fact that like people compare him to Death Grips a lot. And I know that he, I think, hates being compared to Death Grips. But also on top of that, he is an ex military person. So, like, I got ex friends, know my number, and still turn on me. I'm her ex man, but she pretends she never heard of me. And why fuck a hot, fuck on a friend. Most of you niggas can't fuck with my pan. I can rock it on me, your favorite sin. You niggas really be scaring the hoe. I scared of bros and got a black friends. That's just sobriety, gives you a lens, but all I see is niggas playing pretend. You niggas bitches that need an assist. I run the game and I love when you break. I'm Luke the bitch, I'm not gonna miss your hoe. I'll talk like the nigga from Kiss. Bring my beers, mm. ain't through shit. Packing you up, send you back to your ends. Dead in the water. You swimming with sharks, seeing your bitch play that hole like a heart. Took a bitch shopping for Chinese for a guy that I can't see. Every tweet, it come with a cost. Every enemy paint him a saw. If you break up, delete it and cry. Fuck my ex and fuck every cop. Uh, Nepo baby shit. These bitch niggas always got their head down. Bitch ass niggas be down when the slide and they cry when they see your man and down. <laughs> No, you don't just get to do that. You don't just get to do that real quick and then cut right back to being calm. I can't be racist. I'm chasing a pain and spending white faces on white faces. This is an official decision. I don't give a fuck. I'm on the cuffs. I'm on a mission dress like a mortician. I'm spitting harder than a rapist. Tree. Tap on his calendar. Damn, these silence and stop with the vinyl. We don't want to get done. This post shift. Run it up. Run it up. Running my bitches crazy. Counting up. Counting up. All this bread and bread. Fuck me up. Think it's a champ. I treat the blood like it's crazy. crazy, crazy. Oh. 808. phenomenal track that did not feel like five minutes either like he adds just enough like uh, it's gonna sound kind of cringy honestly it's in the way of um how i mean if you're if you're a video game nerd you'll understand it but like uh an old game obviously i think if, you, if you're a gamer you'll know half-life um uh, like during like the development process the kind of mindset of like every couple of seconds there needs to be something new to grab your attention this is the equivalent of that in the form of music. Every couple of seconds there is something new added to grab your attention, keep the track energizing and going. There's not no fucking minute and a half long, super stretched out, kind of boring ass beat with like, or just, just not even boring, just like like standard ass beat um, with just somebody rapping over it for that minute and a half. This is like actually something being added onto every couple of seconds to keep you in it. And then a full switch up in the middle and then continuously adding more after the fact. Like, it's, it's, it sounds crazy, but this is like the Half-Life motto equivalency of music. It's, it's fucking awesome. That song was incredible. I loved it. It was different from a lot of the stuff on the album so far, but it sounded great. It was very mellow in the beginning, and I love those little switch-ups on the second half where it's just everything's loud as shit and then brings it right back down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Some of the singing vocals, too, on the backing there. Amazing, dude. Love the fucking song. So far, this album is fantastic. Absolutely fucking fantastic. Rolling in the track number nine, we have Jihad Joe. Let's run it. Is this the first you think you know me tag? What do you got? Okay. 
Every time I get to stick in and I come around with that Kimbra, I'm wearing a mask. These hoes still in a DJ phase, they coming up short on pieces of cash. When I take all these big riders, my bitch addicted to hating and kissing my ass. Damn it, you know I'm too much of a narcissist. Fuck on my reputation for a bag. I can sniff out you proximity, bitches. I can't be responsible. I'm not your dad. Up in the morning, I'm cleaning my babies. I'm switching that bitch. I make sure it don't jam. Two niggas oh. down and I'm down with the six. That's the quickness. Fucking up bad. Mask is a nigga like I'm taking it. All right, what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? Bringing it back? I'm slowing it down. They're changing the speed. They're changing shit on me. Stop. Oh my God! It's the bombs falling, bro. Like the first half of the track, still great, amazing. A lot more, a lot more quiet, right? Not, not as loud. Again, just kind of flowing. There was the moments where his his voice got raised and almost distorted, um, but it, it also sounded like like a high pass, basically. Um, but like it sounded kind of distorted, and then that switch up, that fucking switch, full 180, in your fucking face, energy, over the top, loud as fuck, insane, insane. And then the fucking, the air raid siren in the background. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Insane. Out of the fucking world. And again, like I said on X on X military sorry. It's, it, he's like the half-life of fucking production. Seriously, he changes it up every couple of minutes. I love to fucking hear it. I, or not a minute, sorry, seconds. I love to fucking hear it. Going into track number 10, I am so fucking excited for this shit, man. Denzel Curry. And JPEG Mafia are two of my favorite artists of, all, of like the modern day and probably of all time at this fucking point. JPEG Mafia, or sorry, fuck, I can't, I can't even speak. I'm that excited. <laughs> JPEG Ultra featuring Denzel Curry. I think I told them on Twitter that I would give up my firstborn for, uh, for another collab. So I guess there goes that. Um, <laughs> but here we go. JPEG Ultra featuring Denzel Curry. Five minute long. Oh my God. Let's fucking jump into it. You think you know? Out the trenches for you flabbergasted fat fucks. This is oh. your boy Denzel Curry and this bitch. And I'm chilling with my nigga Peggy. You already know what time it is. We going around the world with it. And inside your girl with it. You feel me? Live out of your bitch body like my nigga Wayne say. And you know for Pete's sake, nigga, the boy Denzel Curry got to do what it take to get that motherfucking money and that motherfucking bread to get it all how we gonna do it okay so i gotta be rude no matter which way you go you'll still be a square like a rubik's cube see i'm trying nigga i am that dude like a fucking rubik's cube bhap for my ape so i got monkey bars with the same pe everybody said i got eight whoa what the fuck did he just say hold up no matter which way you go you'll still be a square like a rubik's cube see i'm trying nigga i am that dude bhap for my ape so i got monkey bars with the same pe Me and J, me and J E P, me and J P E, fuck, fuck. He's saying me and JPEG going A P, no monkey bars because it's ain't P E. That's what. I said I got A D D, but I never add up. I'ma count past three. Matter of fact, one. All of this devil and shit from D to Q C, but it's never seen a nigga rap run. P I jump, better get far or it's T I stunt. South Florida nigga from the North Bay, nigga never do it like this. Live and direct out your bitch pussy. This is your boy Denzel Curry in this hoe, aka Zeltron, aka Big Ultra. Be different until they get it, then they treat it indifferent. People project and they bullshit on you because they dissatisfied with the life that they live in. Niggas net worth be like 17 bucks while they begging for food and shorties I've been with. I can sniff out your proximity, hoes always nasty some shit going on, but never did it. I don't understand when people talk shit on me. They gotta leave with a lie, some fibbing. Friends acting like they don't wanna talk. I start begging for change, I don't know what it's giving. Niggas be trying mm. to fuck on your bitch while they dapping you up, saying, I see your vision. Fake friends turning on me for nothing. They mad cause they failed even with an advantage. This is my life. I just woke up as a child of the light. Jumped on the beat, had a tell a good night. Y'all y'all best believe he ain't right. Kim up with GM as high as a kite. Shot for successful, I bought me a pint. Around everywhere, ask me, you know? 
you'll never catch me out here looking like these dirty ass underground rappers locked in an Airbnb somewhere with a bunch of niggas playing with each other's dicks, zero women around, looping records nobody wants to hear. So far. Look, mm. on my knees for a god who can hear. I can't pray to no god I can't fear. I think I should have ran me a cult. Quarterback Ooh, I don't pray to no god I can't fear. That's a fucking bar. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. God, I can't fear. I think I should have ran me a cult. Quarterback that hole like I'm painting on cults. Fuck niggas yapping by me on they all. But when I see you, it's the grease of a soul. You say you see him, you catching the case. I hope not the one that you got in your ball. Cause that shit is shaky. Heard the church service say come as you are. So I showed up with a whole bunch of bitches that hate me. Told my main bitch to stop acting expensive. Girl, pass me the mic. You was clueless to Stacy. I know that time heals rules. My time is money. And I can't use time to save me. Pray for all of my ass. I know that time heals wounds, but my time is money, and I can't use my time to save me. Dude. Dude. Please stay either dead or hating, literally faking. Lame ass niggas get exposed every day, and I don't gotta do nothing more than frustrate him. He's not a threat, bitch. I'm on him. A vet. I hit marks on them basic. I never need training. Hey, they make a career from hating. Hey, they make a career from faking. I should talk my way right into a bag. You pussy in private, make him for collabs. You pillow talking to these bitches is sad. <laughs> <laughs> he had shit to say over this. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Fuck yeah. What a, dude, oh my god, I'm so so happy that out of all of like the features on this album, Vince Staples and Denzel made it. Out of out of like the no features on here besides Vince, Denzel, and Buzzy Lee. That Vince and Denzel made it. I'm I'm still excited to hear Buzzy Lee, but I just don't know him like that. So like, I don't know. I I don't know what the fuck to expect here. Like, I, all I know is that this song, fucking phenomenal, bro. The first part had a really wacky fucking beat, like insane. And like, it didn't even sound like he, like Denzel was rapping on the intro until you realize you pick up on there's rhymes here. This is this is rapping. Like he he is rapping. It's fucking just beyond wild it is beyond wild and then it switches up there for peggy's part i mean i think even for denzel there may have been just some drums um and then peggy's part has the drums as well flips up and then that second half right it's beautiful like 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 an acoustic fucking guitar sound to it and then he he just sounds super duper hostile <laughs> it's fucking great it's absolutely fucking great rolling in the track number 11 we have either on or off the drugs so I've named this one JPEG. Anytime you meet her, she come through. Turn Ooh. on the lights. I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her. Look, I'm I ain't really in the flash, and I feel like an accident. I'm never chose. Baby Ooh. talking voice of passion. I feel like it's corny if you ain't no code. Those. And either on or off the drugs, my energy is dawn magic with the hoes. Cause I've been boxing with the drugs. I got a good chin like James Tone. Niggas be putting your boy in a box, they be acting like cops. I can never be phony, phony. She be acting like a thought. I hope it's all I act. She deserves a tone, tone, tone. I'm either on or off the drugs. Can't hold the buzz. I can out of tone. Cause either on or off the drugs. A voice plays in my ear like I'm a home. The first one was good with the beats. The second one put me up in the deep. The third one was sick, no disease. The fourth I had to rush it to complete. The only one who kept me is me. Warriors, I'm CP3. When I see you, it's TTT. Fuck them. We don't take EBT. No C notes, 100K tweets. Gotta print my single beat this week. Gotta print my double beat this week. Fuck. Some of you niggas be talking right out of the side of your neck, and I can't believe that to be gas in these lahos. Some of you niggas be sitting around all day hanging on niggas they never met. I just feel sad for you, little bro. Baby, you know when I'm wild and I make a mess. I keep the candlelight lit for my bitch in the best. Dude, I don't know if I'm, I'm assuming he made the call. Obviously, the electric guitars on this, uh, they need to be fucking praised. This shit is amazing. The guitars are fucking fantastic. I love hearing them on the record. They sound beautiful everywhere that they are on the record. This shit is phenomenal. That's the only thing I can say about it. It is fucking phenomenal. Going straight into track number 12, we got Loop It and Leave It. Let's run it. 
Yeah, I know I got scuffles ahead of me. When I speak in my mind, it's unsettling. I know liberal feelings is delicate. Try to play when you feed them their medicine. Got a doctor subscribing as ketamine. Cause it's more than these shadows I'm wrestling. Trip my bitch in Dior, she decadent. Work so much, she think Peggy was Mexican. It's to thinking that Peggy a joke. Got procedures in place for the heckling. When they want to speak, this is a veteran. Oh. All my bad hoes, bringing that work home straight to my game of chair. Five nine knocking out hoes as tall as Angel Reese, I don't care. Hold on, read my sign, I know I ain't shit. Let's not even go there. Heard you fucking my bitch, I fucked your stool. Let's keep that shit square. Hey. Follow me, hey, follow me, hey, put it all on me, hey, yeah, 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 but like just very chill. I love the I'm telling dude, the flow switch up there in the beginning was insane. He switched the flow like five fucking times right within like the first forty five seconds. Just crazy. And then he threw in the fucking drums. And then he just went with it. And the, it sounded beautiful. Let the second half just open up, breathe, kept adding little tidbits to the instrumental, had the choir, had the string section come in. Beautiful. Beautiful shit, man. Great fucking track. Running into track number 13, we got Don't Put Anything on the Bible featuring Buzzy Lee. Let's oh, is this a... Uh... I don't know this one. Is this the one that he had in the trailer? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, is, from, this is from the album trailer. Singing right now is Buzzy Lee. Beautiful. Oh my god. I don't know how he's about to flip this, but he's gonna fuck around and make some crazy shit. I sense it. We're keeping it, we're keeping it kind of simple. I'm here for it. Y'all niggas always be doing the most. Michael Phelps just acknowledge the stroke. God level Lee Ross swim with a ghost. I switched the channel and lost her remote. She for the war, she belongs to the glow. Gaslight is popular, learn how to cope. Acting like hoes. I thought he's bad. She hit the flow. Let's get it. Everyday people pushing past the limit. Men only know suppressing what they feeling. I used to work for pennies on the minute. Hunger from struggle stayed because I'm living. Worked on my muscle, flex on all you bitches. I can't defend this bitch up in the mirror. I'd rather oh, ask oh. the permission. Under the cap, you can't restore the feeling. I He's never chill because I really want a nigga broke. Like, fuck the excuses, but y'all really eat off the toxic narratives and jokes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful fucking shit. Ready to cut it? Let the instrumental run? I'm so happy that song was on the album because I was excited when I first heard that in the trailer. I was like, okay, okay, we're getting something, we're getting something special, something super duper special. And goddamn, yeah, another fucking beautiful track. Again, I love that it wasn't super duper over the top. It didn't try to take the, uh, take the beautiful sound of the beginning and try to flip it into something crazy. I think on that track, it would have felt a little bit weird to try to do it. And it, it went perfect. It went perfect. He matched the energy super well while also consistently showing that he can change the fucking flow up. He's got bars over it. It sounds beautiful. Sounds beautiful, and he's talking to shit, too. God bless, man. God fucking bless. Going into, unfortunately, the last track on the album, track number 14, I recovered from this. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. Please Real, this whole album. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. Mm. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. It's not that I don't love my bitch, but I don't love these sows neither. She throwing that shit back at me and I'm catching it like I'm a wide receiver. Ooh. I know these losers you fucking ain't hitting it right, I'm Derek Jeter. 
Part of my sleep, even cash my fist. Chase a dream, maybe not just a bit. I can believe in this hope. I've been breaking, I'm breaking like this. Look, my bitch never got taken from me. I lost her myself. My bitch never got comfort from me. I needed too much help. I can't do one hour a week. I think I need more help. I don't think I need no more fixing. I'll just heal myself. Who's gonna be there when you low, bitch? You or somebody else? My actions got way too active. I don't want no more help. Niggas get mad at me when I call out the hate. Cause they hate me. No debate. All of my thinking, you know we ain't dating. Bitch, nigga, let's face it. We came about the mustard, got dirt in our faces. Now we counting the faces. My girl's not on the pole, I'm throwing her face. I can never stop racist. I don't love my bitch, but I don't love these side hoes neither. She throwing that shit back at me, and I'm catching it like I'm a wide receiver. I know these losers you fucking ain't hitting it right. I'm Derek Jeter. Heart on my sleeve and cashing my fist. Chase a dream, maybe not just a bit. I can't believe it, this bitch got me breaking up, breaking like this. Oh. That was I Lay Down My Life For You by JPEG Mafia. What do I think of the album? Beautiful. I'm so fucking happy. That album, I think, really covers all bases of JPEG Mafia, which I think he already does very well on a lot of other records as well, like All My Heroes Are Cornballs or like LP. I still have yet to hear Veteran. Still have to listen to Veteran. Um, But, uh, I mean... I think he really covers and shows a lot of new sounds that he wants to explore and that he did explore on this album. I think he shows already where he's mastered his technique and everything. Um, but, like, he can do anything. I'm not convinced that... Or I'm convinced that he can make anything into into his own sound. And, like, I would enjoy it. It's It's beyond me. I don't know how the fuck he does it. Like, it's just an incredible skill for production, for rapping... Um, tying them two together in a masterful way that not many other people can do and composing his own sound, his own unique sound and making everything come together into just this beautiful, whether it be slow, acoustic, nice, almost sing rap style track or into this heavy in your face metal like rap track like it's fucking Rage Against the Machine. Like... I don't know how how to describe it other than just it's it's the perfect showing of him and it's the perfect showing of of what he's doing nowadays and what sound he's going to be doing nowadays at least for this album I know um obviously I think it's been well like three years since LP came out this is his first album in three years I I'm hoping that it doesn't take that long to get to the next record but um I, man I'm I'm so fucking happy this is up there with one of the best first listens for me this year for sure absolutely one of the best first listens for me this year and um, i'm just so happy that i got to share you know getting into his music with you guys on this channel and for any of you who are new here again i have uploaded reactions to all my heroes are cornballs and to lp both first time listens i i other than uh, i think i listened to the offline version of lp that had stuff from uh the offline ep which was out at the time uh which i also have a reaction to separately but i listened to it all top to bottom as well but that's beside the point for right now this album fucking thing I cannot wait for the tour, and uh, yeah, I mean he he killed this shit. It was amazing, exactly what I was like, what I what I was expecting to hear. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to not miss any more uploads. Uh, I got a longer longer type video about JPEG Mafia that I want to do, but I've been waiting until a this new album came out and b until I could actually sit down and listen to Veteran. Um, but I'm hoping to do that relatively soon. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just blown away, man. Beautiful fucking record. I hope he puts out a vinyl. If he puts out a vinyl, I'll buy it. Or if he's selling one at the shows, I'll buy it. I don't give a shit. Like, just amazing, amazing album, man. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one again. Let me know what you guys think of the album down below in the comments section. Let me know what you guys' overall thoughts are of the record and uh, what your favorite tracks are, what your least favorite tracks are, if you even have one. I don't really think I could pick out a bad song on the entire record. The only one that I could think of that might be like like lower for me would be like Loop It or Leave It, but just be, or Loop It and Leave It, but that's only because it's the shortest track that it kind of doesn't really have like an insane amount happening to it. It's just a very, very du super, du super simple track. Oh my God. But like, just very very straightforward but i i still fuck with the sound of it it's short enough that it works and i appreciate that but yeah man again be sure to hit that subscribe button i upload a lot of stuff about hip-hop here and uh yeah i'll be for sure doing a video at the jpeg mafia concert um as well as probably doing one here in just a couple weeks for the childish gambino tour so uh yeah 
I'm I'm super fucking pumped, man. Uh, the support on the channel has been insane, and yeah, I appreciate all of you for even watching. And if you guys do decide to stick along, uh, I I I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for just support on this shit. Yeah, it's been Vecman.